Do you want your morning pee flag? Everyone's getting really excited. And then there's Lumi. Good morning! This video is going to be a food routine, so you better get excited because we're doing this in a really extra or bougie kind of way. This is our food routine when I really have a lot of time and I want to do something extra special for the guinea pigs. Will is really excited for this video. I just got done at the supermarket and I got a bunch of fresh veggies and I think the guinea pigs can smell that already. You know it's feeding time, right piggies? <laughs> I hear you. So this is what we're making today and I just bought the ingredients and then some stuff that we need anyway. I always get the guinea pigs veggies like once a week. So I buy six cucumbers, seven bell peppers, and four fennels, a huge package of carrot like every Monday. And then whenever I go to the supermarket and get stuff for us, I get things for the guinea pigs. I see something on sale. So if I cook, usually I have some things left over. And whenever I cook, I try to cut all of the things that the guinea pigs can eat first. I'm just gonna quickly show you what we got. We got some bananas, which are for my toddler, but sometimes she doesn't really eat all of the bananas, so I can just cut um, something off for the guinea pigs. My toddler really wanted strawberries, and the guinea pigs actually are not huge fans of strawberry, but you can cut off the greens of the strawberry and that is something that the guinea pigs love. Pasta salad that I'm cooking today has some cucumbers, so the guinea pigs are going to get some cucumber. Um, also some red bell pepper. They're not going to get pasta or lemon, obviously. I got some grapes for me, but the guinea pigs love that as a special treat as well. Obviously no green onions for them. Got one package of cilantro for the recipe and then I got a second one just for the guinea pigs. So this is kind of their extra special treat. And then when I was leaving the vegetable section, um, sometimes they have like this little basket full of stuff that other people don't really want. So at my supermarket they sell the carrots with carrot tops and a lot of people don't really want them because they just end up throwing them away. Anyway, I have a basket full of carrot tops and also kurabi leaves for pet owners. So I got just a ton of carrot tops. This is going to be a really special surprise for the guinea pigs. And then I also got some blueberries for my toddler that the guinea pigs will get to enjoy as well. I'll show you what's usually left over from when I cook. This is a huge bell pepper. I'll probably just leave one and for the guinea pigs. Okay, so this is for you piggies. So with the cucumber, the recipe calls for a that's the guinea pig's favorite part of the cucumber anyway. The peel, so all of the peel will go to the guinea pigs. I'm gonna divide the cucumber. The guinea pigs are gonna get this half. Okay, this cup is, or rather this bowl, is overflowing already. You smelling this, piggies? 
Okay, piggies. Enjoy the leftovers. I have an appointment later today and I'm taking my bike and I'm passing by this park and I think I'm going to pick some fresh grass for a nickname pigs. It's spring, the weather's just been so good. Would you like that Lulu? No, your teeth chattering? Okay, I think the guinea pigs will like the outcome when they see it, but yeah, so off to the park, let's go. just got back from the park and I took a quick detour and got the guinea pigs a ton of grass. I just washed all of that because this park has a lot of people who walk their dogs. I am going to feed this to the guinea pigs now and I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit. I don't want to feed them wet grass. So if you've never fed grass before or if the last time you fed grass was last summer, you have to introduce it slowly. This amount for four guinea pigs and then that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow they're going to get a little bit more. Wait, wait. Yeah, Louie, you smelled that, right? You guys, are you ready? Yeah, Fitz, you like this? Yeah, Fitz lived on a farm before she came to us. No, it's been off more than she could chew. Time for an afternoon snack. I have some of the carrot tops that I got from the supermarket and then also part of the cilantro so the guinea pigs can pick and choose basically what they want. And they're all coming outside. <laughs> Lulu. Lulu, are you confused? Do you want me to open the gate? Oh no, you're coming outside, okay. Wolfie is loving this. He is so puffed up. It's time for dinner. Hi, Lamy. Everyone's waiting already. Bless you, Lulu. Oh. This is the guinea pig's last meal of the day. It's kind of their main meal, though I feel like more of the special treats we usually feed during the day. So this is just to get you through the night, piggies. You're just really hungry, right? Okay. There's all the food. Careful, piggies. Whoops. Where are we? All of the food. Let me move the hair rack. All of your food is there. Will are you confused? This is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys next time. Bye. Also, in case you're wondering, 
will be good, his piece of bell pepper. 